Amen. Amen. Round of applause to Jesus. Turi mu cyumweru nanone tukiri mu bihe bya Pasika. We are still in a season of uh, Easter or Passover. Kuko munezero wo kwibuka umunsi umwami imana yazukiyeho cyangwa se ibihe byo kwibuka izuka ry'umwami bihoraho bihoraho Because the times of remembering the resurrection of our Lord they always go on and on Kuko niho ibyiringiro byacu bishingiye Because that's the basis of our faith Atarazutse byaba ari ubusa Had he not risen again we would be void Atarazutse twaba turimo turakina ikinamico Had he not risen again this would just be a drama play Atarazutse twaba turi religion if he was not raised again, this would just be a religion like any other. If he had not risen again, you have no hope. But praise to God because Jesus is risen again. Praise him because your Lord Zabai is alive. And it was such a great fight to convince people that he was risen again. But the power of resurrection that appeared, even today, he's still bringing back to life. And the one who believed in him is very different from the one others believe in because he's alive. After his resurrection, he spent days before he went back to heaven. He spent some days walking. And what he was doing, it was to appear to his disciples. It was to appear to those who believed in him. And I pray to God Almighty that the Lord Jesus will reveal himself to you again. And when he does, when Jesus reveals himself to you, just like he visited Mary of Magdalene, just like he visited the disciples on the way to Emmaus, the way he went and surprised the disciples, even today he's still visiting those who believe in him. Even today my prayer is that he might visit you. Because when he visits you, when Jesus visits you, there is a transformation in your life. When Jesus visits you, it's very different from my visit. When Jesus visits you, when Jesus reveals himself to you, in your home things will change. In your body you will feel change. Even in your spirit there will be a tangible change. In your children there will be change. In your marriage, there will be change. And all your life will change when Jesus visits you. And I pray that the Almighty will visit you. And that you feel change in your life. Transformation in your life. Your way of speaking, your way of living, everything will change. Jesus visited his disciples. May Jesus visit us as well. So today we are going to learn about someone called Peter. He's the one who we are going to emphasize on. And today he will be our main personality. Not just to talk about him only, but so that you can learn from this fellow who came before us. I was saying in the meantime, after Jesus had risen again, for 40 days he spent revealing himself to the disciples. That is the work he was doing. But he was doing it in a different way than he used to be with the disciples uh, constantly every time. That was another life Jesus was trying to teach them. They were used to living with him physically and uh, constantly every time. But now they start living in a time 
time of faith knowing that he's risen again but they are not seeing him every time. And then he will come and visit them. He will strengthen them in the fear they had. And he will come and bring comfort in different times. That's how he visited these disciples. Now, this Peter we are going to see here, he's one of those who are visited by our Lord after his resurrection. But before I go there, I would like to tell you how he was called, because we remind you, because we all know Peter how he was called. Remember, when uh, he was called, also remember, Remember what the Lord God has called you for. Let us read in Luke chapter 5. And we see from verse 1 to verse 11. Let us read in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. Luke chapter 5. Tujeze kwa chumi nari mge, aliko duso mnyao hoho saru kujira ngo, ubashe gusoba no chirugwa, utajirichi nutakaza, wibuke, nanje nibuke, uko yesu ya hama gae petero. Uh, we are going to read from verse 1 to verse 11 so that we might not miss out on any detail of how it was when Jesus called Peter. Yesu, yara hagaze mchiba ya chinyanja uh, ya jenezareti. Nukabano benshi, it means they were done with their work, they had stopped. Peter. Amusaba kubutsura o hato ngobuve kunghombe. Arichara, yiji shabanu, arimugatu. Ioni opodium. Ahoni humami wacha ji e gato, kujira ngwasengu, muje kuruhande, yonio pulpiti. That was his pulpit to one of the boat. Kujira ngono na hatanjire, yiji sheneza abareba na uba mure. That's on verse 4. He wanted to be a bit away from them so that he can teach them looking at the eyes. Aranjise kujisha, aranjise kufuga, abugira Simonati. Simon, ijiri muhenjeri, mujugu nyishu ndura murobe. Simon Ramosu is at that abush to quache cheje ijoro du kora chan, turo ba chan, du kori bisho wa kabzio se chan. Nyamara na chot wa jizegute, tu kwa fashi, ariku, kuku bi vuzi, kuko ubi vuzi, reka nzi juguni. Peter, imani gumu jisha kumvi. God bless Peter for obedience. Umvicha vuyemu. Babi koze bafata ifi nyishi chani. Ndete inshu ndura zabo zenda guchika. Bare mbu zaba jenzibabo bari mubundi bugato ngo vaze baba tabari. Baraza buzu za mato yabo yombi bitumayenda kujiragute kurenjirugu. Simone Petero ngo abibone acho yiku bitimbere ya yesu. Ati vahondi data buja kukondomu nyabja. Imani dufash. Chumi. Na Yakobo na Yohana vene zebedayo. Bari bafata nije na Simoni. Nabo bira bata angaza. Yesa bugira Simoni ati. Simoni. Simon. Witinya. Uhere enon. Uza juro babanu. Imani habu gichi obahiru. Mera yesa mashe kubugichi. Abasoma murundi rurimi baraza kumeza abasoma. I want to put an emphasis on verse 11. Uh, that's 11, that's where we're going to emphasize. Verse 11, he said, Yes, I'm going to say, we tinya, uhere yenoni, uzaja, uroba, abad. 
Jesus said to Simon Peter, do not be afraid from now on you will catch men. Simone yara hinduri umuhamagar. Uh, the calling of Simon Peter had changed. Simon yara hinduri uvisho ya koraga. Uh, his calling or his work had just changed. Christo wacha jadushu sanga muvisho wa koraga, muvisho wa bagamo, akavu angonda hinduji. Christ he comes to what you were into and he says now I'm changing. Warobaga mafi. You were catching fish. You were living a life of a fisherman. But from today on, I'm changing it. You start fishing men. That language is not easily understood. How will it be? How will it happen? For me to catch men. But Jesus goes to someone who has no mumumvire, Uburjo, Yolangaja, Basha Kubzum, Vanibjazam, Azakor. And he explains to him in a way he can understand what he's going to do. Arahamagawa. So he was called. There is something he's been called for. Now, uh, between this thing he's been told, you remember that this was at the beginning of Jesus' ministry. He was starting to uh, call the disciples who were going to be his, uh, to live with him. Between being told that you are going to start fishing men, and when it's going to be fulfilled, there is a journey in between. Amen. Amen. There is a journey in between. Yes, he when Jesus calls, and he tells you something regarding your life, giving you a promise, it doesn't happen overnight. He starts training you. He starts creating his life in you. Because when he finds you, you're like Peter who say, away from me, Lord, because I'm a sinful man. My Lord does not go because you're a sinful man. But he will come and say, it is you I want you with your sins. Come, it is you that I'm looking for. And you know what I was looking for you. You don't understand it today, but in the days to come you will. Uh, between being told, between uh, receiving the promise, and the fulfillment of what you were told, there is a time of being shaped and molded. There is a time of being molded, created. This Peter we are learning today, he was full of a fisherman's life. How are you going to be a shepherd of people? And yet your mindset and your understanding is one of a fisherman. You have to be taken through a certain process. You have to go through a certain process. So that the life of God will be created in you. And that is the life that you're going to impart to others. Kuifata, Hanuma, Ukaivanaria Magaragamba, Hanukayoza Mumatqui, Ukaivana Mubzo Munda Kujirangovita, Vita Tumibora Vuba. You want to go to explain how it is from the time you fish, uh, you catch a fish to the time you prepare it, all the preparation process, and so that it does not spoil easily? That's not what you're going to give to people. And then you prepare it and you have to dry it. All that. Have you been a fisherman? I know how to eat fish, but I'm not a fisherman. But that life, Peter needed it. 
Even the disciples are the disciples. Jesus spent three years and more teaching them with them learning from him, observing him so that one day they will live the life they have seen in him. They will do what they have seen in him doing because between being taught, called and uh, starting to do what you've been called for, there is a life of preparation in between. Yes, Calls. And after that, he dies. But he tells them, in three days, I'll come back to yes, life. Jesus is risen again. And you know resurrection, there is something else he teaches me. Is that whatever Jesus has said, it comes to pass. Amen. Amen. He said, I will come back to life. They just had to believe it, nothing else. Jesus has risen again and he reveals himself to them. You know, he visited Mary Magdalene. You know, he visited the two disciples on the way to Emmaus. You know, he visited the disciples when Thomas was not there. And Thomas said, what you say, I will see it when it happens. Thomas comes. And he said, let me visit you while Thomas is there so that he might believe. But I love the word he used to say when he would come to them. He would say, peace be unto you. My peace be unto you. Say amen. He will come and say shalom. Because the visitation of Jesus brings peace. Being visited by the Lord brings peace. They were afraid of the Jews, but when Jesus will visit, he will bring peace. In the meantime, Jesus is not there physically. But he's there in a way, spiritually. Now, those disciples are there. They knew that he had risen. Now, we are going to see. Even though they know what Ariko they've been called for, nanone, but we are going to see Peter wachu, our Peter imbaraga, before he was filled with another power what happened to him. Let us go to the Gospel of John and then we'll read chapter 21. We'll read from verse 1. We'll read the big passage so so that you might understand that life. Let us read in the name of our Lord Jesus. The chapter 21. Yesu yongera kwiyereka abigishwa be kunyanja ya Tiberia yiyereka natya kurikira wumve. Simoni Petero na Toma witwa nde Didumo na Nathanael wikana yigariraye. Nabena ze badaye murabibuka babiri. Nabandi bigishwa babiri bari bari kumwe aho 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 bari bari kumwe iyo groupe abo bigishwa bari hamwe kuko abo bose niko babanaga na Yesu ariko baraho reka wumve rero umwe muri bo abavuyemo witwa nde Simon Peter arababwira ati bavande muzi cyo ngiye gukora nge ngiye kuroba ngugiye he Simon says, I'm going to fish. I reflected about this word. You're in a group. Uh, there is something God spoke to you. You're at home. Or you're at work. You are somewhere. One of you. Say now. Yes, he has risen. Yes, he will use us. But for me, uh, let me put it aside. Where am I going? To fish. People? 
bitanu byaruka twabonye ko Yesu muhamagara iki we saw in Luke chapter 5 that Jesus was calling him to fish none mwene data ati ngiye kuroba and here he is going to fish he he where munyanja in the sea This is what it should teach me. Are you waiting for Jesus? In the waiting time, do what you've been told. In the meantime, it's time to draw close to God. It is no time of any kind of choice. It's not just doing anything that comes. Be still. It's time to pray. It is time to draw close to God. But the brother said, I'm going to fish. Now here. They said to him, We are going with you also. They you know, early morning in the dawn, the dawn when it came, early in the morning, now Jesus came to them. No, no, no. You know, people who are on the show, they speak loud just like I'm doing. Because he's not in the water, they're in the waters. They have their own language. Because they have to speak loud so that others will listen. At the night they didn't catch anything, but in the morning they caught a lot of fish. But you know, at the same time, when they see it again, they recognize it. All the people who were there, there was a disciple whom Jesus loved. He's the one who is writing this story. That's wrong. I, I love it when he speaks of himself. He says the disciple whom Jesus loved. Just say how Jesus loves you for others. That's their business. Now he said to Peter, hey, Say, it is the Lord. It is the Lord Jesus. Nuko Simon Petero yumvi sekaru mngami, a chenyeru mngenda kukweri amba yichi, ubus yiroha munyanj. Ari kabandi bijishkwa vaza mugatu, we aza ari for him, he came swimming, others came in the boat. They were close to the seashore. They were close to the seashore. Nuku <laughs> You know, when someone is ashamed, they don't say much, they just keep quiet. What about you? If you're found there, 
where you're not supposed to be. Where the Lord left them, he came to bring them back. How wouldn't you be ashamed? So they would do what they wanted to do, but yes, they would not say anything. So he took bread and fish and gave to them. That was the third time of reading himself to the disciples after the resurrection. Before we read further, let us read, uh, see some key verses here and listen to what the Spirit is revealing. Father, in the name of Jesus, I thank you because you're pouring the Spirit that brings back thoughts, bringing back people where they laid astray in the life you want them to be, bringing them back to what you created them for. I thank you because you're doing that work. Holy Spirit, great teacher, continue to teach and convince. It's in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. On verse 3 of this chapter, Simon Peter we see Simon Peter deciding to go fish. Shotizima. Friends. Any decision regarding your life, any choice, you need to think about it twice. And be careful about your choices and decisions. Your decisions, especially that everyone here on earth, whether they recognize it or not, there are always people who are touched to you in a way. One or two, more or less. Whether you're a man, there is a woman and children who are attached to you. If you're a leader, there are people who are attached to you. Where you live, there are other people who depend on you for me or others. Everyone has dependence in a way. So any decision you might take, it will always have a good or bad bad impact on the people who are depending on you. Now this brother, the decision he took, saying I'm going to fish, they did not let him go alone. Those who are with him, they say to him, remember that, in that verse 3, when he say to them, I'm going to fish, uh, let us see uh, the verses, uh, what they told him. They say to him, we are going with you also. Your decision is not just an isolated decision in individual. In all the life you live, there are always people who are attached to you. Whether you're going from one house to another, whether you're deciding to leave Kigali, going to live up country, whether you want to move from one job to another, whether you want to move from one calling to another, whether just quitting or continuing, know that any decision you take will have a good or bad impact on the people who depend on you. Now, it is time for you to pray more before you, you take a decision. Time to get guidance from the Lord God so that you might not be a problem, but be an answer to many. Second, uh, on the B part, the disciples who were with him, among them the sons of Zebedee, uh, Thomas was there and there were other disciples there they said we'll go with you as well what is the Lord God teaching us about this word 
The decision of another person. The decision of another person. That they have taken. As a child of God, do not follow blindly. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Wave to Jesus. Do not follow blindly or take decisions blindly. At your workplace, if someone starts complaining about the wrong things at work, and they say I have chosen to quit to resign do not say let us go together I've been seeing this as well they have their own reasons they know what they've been told you might find that your blessing is there do not follow blindly do not say that we'll go with you as well if someone decides to uh, stop down from the bus and you have not arrived to your destination, where are you going? Following him. Stay in the bus until you reach your destination. Until you're told that this is your, your point to exit. In this calling, that's how it is. In these works of the redeemed, that's how it is. What the Lord God is calling calling you for undi nundi Another one is another one. But let this person advise you. But your time to take a decision, you need to agree with the one who has called you to that place. You need to be in agreement with the one who has called you for that work. You need to be in agreement with the one who gave you that work. Do not look at yourself only. Remember who has placed you where you are. If he has not told you to live, where others do not find blessing, your blessing will be there. Because he has told you so. Those who have enough, that's their business. But you're not there. There is something you've been called for. In the works of the redeemed, in the works in the house of God, in different groups, sometimes they are teams. I know that's how people are, are attacked differently. Sometimes you might be happy with the team you're into, sometimes you're not. In a certain team, whether singers, uh, ushers, any team you might belong to, I'm coming from outside, coming to the house of God. They come someone who decides and say, I'm quitting. Um, I've had enough. I've had my share. Earlier I gave an example about the worship team. Someone might say, you know, I'm no longer interested in wearing a uniform every week, every Sunday. I want to put on my own clothes on Sunday. I put on uniform at work and at church. And since I got a job, I have these clothes I have bought oh, and I don't have anywhere to wear them. Another child of God there, they do not know that what he is taking is the flesh. They do not know that it's the flesh. They will say we are going together. Do you know where the person is Uzi going? Do you know why they are going? Kneel down and pray to God. Please clap for Jesus. Do not just follow. Oh, yeah. No. Have someone who called you there. All of us who have decided to do certain works in the house of God. Wait on your Lord Gen for him to tell you Gen this, your time is done, done. And go to this team, go do this. That has to depend on that. The third thing we see, they spend the whole night without catching anything. 
often we ask and we ask ourselves when someone is into a certain thing and they see that it's not going as they expect there is a work I've started there is a business I've started but I see that things are not going on well things are not going on well man of God wouldn't that be a sign that God is not with me in this do you ask yourself that question sometimes it is yes and no. Sometimes it might be a sign because you feel it inside you, but also before you were called, you received a certain message. The way Peter stood, and he led others to go with him, you know, in, in, in the way they were proceeding, they were not going to catch a lot of fish. You know, not catching any fish was a clear sign for him that he's not with the Lord. It is possible that not being successful in a certain endeavor might show you that the Lord is not with you because you know that that's not what God is calling you for. But also on the other hand, sometimes why you call it might not start well. But what keeps you there? You are kept by what the Lord God has Hallelujah. spoken to you. You are kept by what Whether it rains or the sun is up, I'll stay there. Even if today there is no profit, but my Lord is preparing something. And another sign that keeps you there, even if it doesn't look promising. It is the voice of God. It is the attitude of your heart, oh, God telling you that he's with you. Mahoro, nyamara, hanze, and you feel that in your heart you are at peace, yet outside things do not look good. Even though people might come to see you at your shop, they will tell you, and you mad? Is something okay with you? When we look at the Holy Scriptures, we see many people who are called. And it was was not successful oh, yeah. at the get go. No. Sometimes God allows you to go through that, and uh, the future will look good. That is a time to create a testimony for you. That is a time that is shaping you. That those are times that are creating your faith, and you stand firm. And Jesus will say, "I want to see your faith." Now let me open doors for you. And enter into what I have called you for. And he will open on the right and the left. And north and south. And your blessing that is attached to entering into the calling start appearing. Praise Jesus. Praise God. Because sometimes the children of God, they quit so soon. And yet you, are, you, are, you had been called to fish men and you go back to fishing, catching fish. But praise God who comes to bring you back. I love this Jesus who went back to the Sea of Tiberias. I say, my children, come back. My daughter, my son, come back. He did not come to judge them. But he came and told them, come back. I still love you. I see I see I'm still behind the word I told you, Peter. When I told you that word, that was not plain. I said you catch men. When you go back to catch fish, I'm not with you. The fact that you're not seeing me physically doesn't mean that I'm not there. Jesus is behind the word he has spoken to you. Because when he spoke to you, he was 
was behind his words to fulfill it. He kept behind the words he told him until he was able to fulfill it and he saw people being delivered until it was fulfilled and he saw people being delivered from their sins that catching men the Lord be praised so that was one thing but on verse 6 there is another word that helps us he said cast a net on the left on the right he said on the right side of the boat and you will find some fish the Lord Jesus he did not say the right because the left was not there he knows exactly <laughs> where you can catch those fish Jesus our Lord he's the one who knows where a blessing is hidden because we only look at what he says but he is a God who knows well the ministry you can walk in. He is the one who knows your church. He is the one who knows where your blessing is. He is the one who tells you do not go on the left, go on the right. Because that's where your blessing is hidden. He does not tell you go on the left and then go on the right. He knows exactly why you can throw your net and catch something. And when you accept to go where he tells you, you will catch a lot of things. <laughs> and you get your blessing. No, you must. Today, we still have people who have not found their blessing. Because Jesus say, uh, cast the net on the right side and they cast on the left. Because they are just going after their own thinking, after their own understanding and logic. Even though you might be with people and they tell you it's not possible, but what is impossible to man is possible to God. Just cast your net on that. Cast there. Go there. Go there. It is a God who tells you go to that country. Go there. It is God who tells you go to, 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 to that country. country. Go there. Do not, do not, do not, be, uh, do not attach yourself to that country. He, if he tells you go to a city not in the rural area, go there. Amen. Amen. Uh, the previous Sunday, there is a child of God who really uh, made me happy. They were among the people who can be helped. But when I met him there at the gate, say, you have not seen me recently. Say, yes, I have not seen you recently. Say, I did not leave the church. And my HBF leader knows this. Now I'm up country. Say, do you have a fellowship? Say, do. Because when I went there, that's the first thing I got. To but uh, when it comes to work, I realized that my husband and my children and I, that we are going to uh, have trouble in the place we are living in. Now I'm in the north. Say, man of God. I thank God. I did not backslide. But my blessing is hidden there. <laughs> Can you bring that person back to the city? To uh, be begging for food? See, as I'm talking to you, I brought 300,000 to pay for my children. And I go back, I'll come back with something else. I was happy. 
They are into them, and they are getting the school fees. And instead of you uh, trying to uh, make ways here in town that are not acceptable, he's continuing the, the calling and still thinking about the house of God. Friends of God, stand where God wants you. Jesus is the one who knows where your blessing is. Do not stay where he's not you. Do not stuck there. Just go. Or if he doesn't want you to go there, do not. Stay into what God is saying to you. Because whether it takes long or not, you're going to find your blessing. Praise be to God. And there is another powerful word in this passage. On verse 15, I want us to read there. Chapter 21. And we go to 15. And we go to Simon Simon, I have called you, you have known me, you know me, I know you. Let us come back <laughs> to what I have called you for. Yes, My Jesus is good. He will not have stopped with just food, <laughs> eating and drinking. <laughs> now we have eaten, right? If it was hunger that took you there, and you came to catch fish, and you fool, isn't everything okay? Now let us go back to what I told you before. Because I'm behind my word. All of it. Peter, Peter, do you love me more than these? I want us to go back to what I called you for. Peter was asked, after he had eaten, Simon, son of Jonah, do you love me more than these? Peter said, he said to him, yes, Lord, you know that I love you. If there is no loving Jesus, if there is no love you have for Jesus, for it to push you to do the work of God, for it to push you to do the work you've been called for, you will leave, you will quit. You go back to fishing. Even though Jesus will bring you, you still go back. But the love we have for God, the love that understands how we are loved, it puts in us a depth of serving God. Whether times are good or bad, the love of Christ compels the one who loves him and the one he loves love is what should compel you that's why everyone who is serving God not pushed by the love of God it will not be recorded in heaven but what will be recorded is what was pushed or compelled by Christ by the love of God by the Holy Spirit we are not in the calling in the ministry because that's why, where we have found wealth tangible wealth no. it is because we have understood the love we are loved and we are trained to be obedient and we have allowed God and God uses you in ways he wants praise God friends of God the love that you have for God. No one will ever know it. It's just you and Christ. Now, do you love me more than this? 
Ndagukunda. Said, I love you, I swear. And then he was asked the second time. I don't know if you have a good idea. I don't know if you have a good idea. I don't know if you have a good idea. I don't know if you After Jesus has asked him if he loves him, I don't know if you have a Feed my lambs. Let's continue. And he asked him the time. Simon, son of Jonah, do you love me? Now, that part, do you love me more than these ones, is omitted. He asked him, do you love me? Do you love me more than this fish? What a question. You have, uh, you have caught fish. <laughs> you have caught fish, you brought them <laughs> to the shore, <laughs> and your boats are there. You know, there were a lot of fish, the nets were almost breaking. It's like that time when you have a tender, when you have money, and you hear Jesus coming to you. Say, this, between this money, this prophet, and me, do you love me? Or you love this money? Only God knows. Yes, only God knows. Do you love me? If you compare to this, you love me. If you compare to this, you love me. I love you, but let me first tell this one. You need to be realistic. I love you, I will die for you. I love you, I will die for you. Everyone will leave you, but I will die after you. But you know, we we speak when we have not seen anything. When we have not seen anything. Someone will say, I love you, I'll fight uh, uh, the devil for you. You know, the tongue is very fast in speaking. I'll fight the devil over you. It's easier said than done. You say, you see, you can see it yourself. You can see it yourself. Third time, say if you love me, and you confess that you love me, I'm asking you to tend my sheep. Don't you remember what we have said? You and I. This, this, these fishes, this fish business, what I'm calling you for is relating to my people. The rest, leave it aside. And he asked him the third time, Say, Simon, son of Jonah, do you love me? Peter was grieved. Peter was grieved because he said to him the third time, do you love me? And he said, Lord, you know all things. You know that I love you. He said, Lord, you know all things. You know that I love you. Uzarambura maboko undi agukenyeze akujyane aho udashaka Icyatumye avuga cyo ni ukwerekana urupfu azubahisha imana amaze kuvuga cyo aramubwira ati noneho ubwo wemeye kunkunda kurushaba ubwo wemeye kunkunda kuruta ya mafi ubwo wemeye kunkunda kuruta ibi bintu siza wowe gira gute after talking about the death he will die, he said, now since you love me more than all this, since you love me more than the fish, now follow me. Let go. Follow me. Follow me. Let go. Almighty God, may he helps you to let go of everything where your blessing is not. In the name of Jesus Christ, God has poured a spirit that brings back, come back, 
Come back to the work I have called you for. Whatever God called you for, come back to it. That's where God sees you. Because this king who came to the disciples at the Tiberias, he was not there to give them fish. He was there to restore, to bring them. Because he knew the work he had done in them. He knew what he had spoken regarding his people. He knew the wealth that was in them. God knows the wealth he has placed in you. And he will not leave you. You following us online. Jesus knows the wealth he has invested in you. You seated here, you who hear this word, Jesus knows the work he has done in you. And that's what he follows. Why didn't he go to look for others and let this fishing? But he has spoken a word to them. He knows their hearts. Jesus knows you. And he knows you. Come back in the name of Jesus. Come back in the name of Jesus. Do not be attracted by food or what you see or what you think. That's how Jesus works. Let me end here. The Holy Spirit, may he reveal to you and explain to you all these things. Amen. Amen. Uh, when I was to respond to the calling of God, I refused more than once or twice. What was making me refuse? Was the problems and poverty and what I was seeing in this ministry. But God, He convinced my heart. After the servant of God taught, I felt convinced. I was convicted because of what had been told. Before. And yes, you refuse, you, you stick to your ground. After the servant of God had taught, I went down where to Rwangura's house. And when I got down, I <laughs> met a prophet. That day, it was really my day. And the prophet told me a word, a scripture in the Bible. First Timothy chapter six verse six. First Timothy chapter six verse six. And he said. And he said. That which you have heard. Do not fight with God. Come back. Bring back your heart. He said, See, however, content, godliness, godliness, with contentment is great gain. <laughs> I thank God for that. I said, God, what should I do? I accept. And went home. Sunday afternoon is time for us to rest. When we got home, there was another prophet. It's called Gajo. <laughs> and she said, Have you heard? And I asked, why don't you hear what concerns you and leave me aside? You know, that's what happens between men and women. The men always say, you know, they'll talk about you, but you don't listen. What about you? What did you hear? 
And I want to fight with her. Say, did you go to church to hear from me? Didn't you go to get your own question? And the conversation started there. And we talked, we talked. And she asked a question. Say, what do you want? Say, I know those things. Say, how do you know those Harja, things? Say, when you work for money, what is it you're working for? The wealth you're looking for, what is it? Is it just your stomach? No, yeah. Say, no. Isn't it myself and these children? I said, yes. I said, yes. No, no. Say now, instead of bringing us trouble, go and if we die, we'll die in the hands of God. I say, Gajo, I'm convinced. And I knelt before her. Say, pray for me. And she prayed for me. Say, God, we give you this husband. Let him go and serve you. <laughs> and in the morning, no, I didn't wait. I called Pastor. Say, Pastor, praise God. Amen. Say, Amen. Say, tomorrow I have to see you. Say, tomorrow morning we have to. Say, let us make that wrong house. And we met. I say, Pastor, Urabona, you see? Urabona, you see? And I started Nanja talking, and I talked. Say, see, you see, you see. And Pastor, she has her own Zaha ways <laughs> that are not easy. There is nothing I told her that she had not Na been told. And she let you until heaven spoke to you. If she calls you, because in the journey of being called for there are different obstacles, you, you don't want to be held responsible for what you are called into. Now, whatever happens, I will have no judgment with her because I know what the Lord God spoke to me. I know what the Lord God told me and gave me. Friends of God. No one was happy about it in my family. But heaven rejoiced. I mean, to what I've been called for. And God has blessed me. And He has blessed me. And He has done good to me. The first blessing is contentment in your heart. Feeling at peace in the heart. Don't worry, nothing will happen to you. I'm not calling you to be full time here. But I'm telling you, whether outside or here, get into what God has called you for. God bless you. As you hear it. Please stand up and yes, let us pray. Jesus. Imbaraga zawe zigarura. Imitima yatkwawe. Ibitechelezo zatkwawe. Imibiri yatkwawe. Muraka kanya bigaruke. Mngizina djuwaba mge kandi wazuse Yesu Christ mngara wiman. Ndagushima mngam. Tanjiru senge mumutima wawo. Utu witeka. Nyene konjira kumfi jukirja. Nyene konjira kumfa onjiru ngarura. Mwami Yesu ni wawuza ona yobeye. Ni wawuza ibiteche na sobisi anjewe. Mazi misi vigana. Ni wawuza ondi. Ni wawwe, ni wawwe, ni wawwe. Ariko nyene ye mwami. Kume nyeni wa ndoba iburjo. Nyene kume nye yuko mwami. Ngwiri ya kure kanga kuri chira gusa. Nyere ka mwami. Vugane numutima wanji. Mwizina rya Yesu Kristo jiri sengesho rimuzamuri imbere y'Imana data mwizina rya Yesu Mwami wanje kandi mana yanje ndagushimiye ndagushimiye kubwi jambo ryawe ndagushimiye kubwo kuri kwawe wowe usuka umwuka ugarura garura 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 uyu mugabo garura uyu mugore garura uyu muhungu garura uyu mukobwa garura wowe ube nyuma y'ijambo wavuze nubwo ryaba ari mazimya myaka nubwo ryaba ari mazimya myaka ube nyuma y'ijambo wabwiye umuntu kandi ntumurekura ni wita kukukiranirwa 
kwe mwami uyu na uvuga ngo nagiye mu bya nasubi inyuma nagiye mu bya nataye imana ubu yakongera ikamba bari kankoresha mwami birashoboka mwami birashoboka emeza umutima we ko bishoboka ko bishoboka umugarure maze mwami wongera umweze umweze shamaraso yawe umweze shubuntu bwawe imbabazi zawe kugira ngo mwami yongere avuge ngo witeke imana ari kumwe nange mugarure papa wongera mu ikizere yuko cyo wamubwiye ukikiriho ukikiriho ndetse cyane yuko utakibagiwe utakimubwiye ukina ahubwo mwami yuko kiri ya nyine icyo uragikurikiranye kugira ngo azagikore azave muri yisi mwami yaragikoze urakoze papa ishimwe ni kuzo bibi bya ni mwizina rya Yesu twiringiye ko mana ukoze igitangaza cyabo au nom de Jésus de Nazareth mwicarire nsengera umuntu umwe cyangwa babiri want to pray for one or two people ndashaka gusengera uwo wese i want to pray for anyone ushaka guhindukirira Kristo who wants to come back to Christ uvuga ngo ndashaka guha ubuzima bwanje Yesu who says i want to give my life to Christ ntabwo Yesu yakorana nawe Jesus cannot walk with you ukaramukingurira umutima if you have not opened your heart uwa kabiri second we wasubiye inyuma you have backslided umugongo, you who turned your back on him yo. and went back and you've been there even though you might have been in sin, he's merciful Arachiranuka. he's righteous and he's not coming to Arima condemn you or charge you he's saying come back to me I will wash you and I will take you into what I call you for nibuhari. come I will pray for you before i go in the name of jesus amen uhari naze musengere niba if you are here please come forward ngwino mama imesa go mugisha want to pray for you ngwino ubuzima bwawe yesu come and give your life ngwino garukire yesu come and return to kuri yo nyanja uriho he's coming to the sea where you are he's not judging you ntaga gucire witeka he's not condemning you arakubwira ngo nunyemerera gusa he's saying if you allow me ukankunda if you allow me and let me ndawubuzima bwawe ukifiye <laughs> cebo gufa imbere yawe sinzwe ni jambo ryawe nta mugisha mfite atari wowe nta no mugisha naboneye hari ahantu nta mugisha biriya bintu nta mugisha nabiboneyemo biriya bya ha nta mugisha nabiboneyemo ariko ndaje Yesu gusabye imbabazi reka nguha umunota umwe umubwira uti imbabarira Yesu icyo ushaka kukimubwire Wumva nawe wa musaba himbabazi sinki kuvugiye ni wo kimuvugira mu izina rya Yesu kimubwira ari hano yiteguye ko kwakira bafashe icyemezo kiza Yesu usanga Petero nabandi bigishwa ku nyanja ya Tiberia warangije ubabwira umubwira ngo nkurikira mwami Yesu reka ijwi ryawe ryumvikana neza clear net mu mutima wabo mu mutima wuyu ryumvikane riturutse mu ndiba y'umutima we rimubwira ngo nkurikira nije ubitse umugisha wawe mwami Yesu abubazi mu mazina abubazi bose 
ndaba turaho mwami ngo bafate ukuboko nabo bagufate ukuboko ubafate umutima ubafate ibitekerezo aba ni bazasubira inyuma kundi aba bazaba ingabo zawo aba bazaba abakozi bawe aba bazayobora benshi kubukiranutsi aba bazaro babantu barenze umwe bazarobe benshi mwizina rya Yesu Ndaba sabiru mujisha, ndaba sabiru bunu bugawe Imbaraga zaafanya kriso mwafuye Izo mbaraga ziba vane mubjaha Ziba rekuzi bjaha Ziba rekuze Ibi teche na zubifuye Kufu yu musi Icho ngami bakunda kudashima Uyu musi chiba nuchire Uyu musi wa zinuts Murichinu chosu da shima mwuzima bugawe Hanyumu iteka we Ndagusa mzengu weze Uweze shamara soya Hanyuma mngami Ubinjize Ubinjize mu murima wawe ubinjize mu murima wawe ubinjize mu bwami bwawe babu bu mumaro mu bwami bwawe mwizina rya Yesu Kristo umwana w'Imana niko dusenze kandi niko twiringiye mwizina rya Yesu Kristo umwami wacu vuguta amen Imana ibaho mugisha mugende muri burya mu papa arabafasha mwizina rya Yesu amen Imana ibagire neza Oh, 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 oh,